Hello and welcome. So for today's lab session, I'm going to show you how to configure your Android virtual device so that it won't stress out your laptop computer. So I've recently discovered this uh, technique by experimentation on my own laptop. So forgive me if uh, the last week lab session, I haven't uh, shown you how uh, to get around the problematic Android virtual device running on your own computer. So to proceed with this lab session, I need you to click on this Android device manager icon. Okay, and then you click it. And then I want you to create your own virtual device. And then you have to select Nexus 5. Okay, we will be creating a custom uh, hardware based on Nexus 5. So what you need to do here is just to click a clone device. Okay, you have to clone the Nexus 5. And then you uh, put over here as Nexus 5 custom. Okay, this is important. And then you can rearrange this to be a smaller screen size, to have a smaller screen size. And then a smaller uh, resolution. A smaller resolution will result that your uh, computer will not be stressed out by the performance of the Android virtual device. Okay, this is uh, what I've discovered by experimentation. Okay, if you have a laptop more than 8 gig, you can increase this to RAM to 2048. So if not, just uh, let it be at the default. So for you that have uh, the laptop more than 8 gigabyte, you can increase it to 2048. Alright, okay. So select no skin. Okay, then you can have an access 5 custom over here. So, and then you can uh, click next. Okay, and then you can select uh, Android. Okay, the Android uh, system image. You can use any form of images. But please select images that are appropriate for your laptop. For example, if your laptop uh, support 64-bit, uh, you must download and select 64-bit uh, images. But I recommend you to try and download uh, Android API 29 or Android 10 or at least Android 11. So for the new part, uh, okay, you can download Android 11. Do not try to download Android 12 because I hear that there is a problem with Android 12. So um, for this matter, I'm going to choose Android 29. Okay, Android level 29, API level 29, that is Android Q. Okay, and then for the graphic, you select in uh, automatic. You can adjust this, right, with virtual screen or whether you want to use a webcam or not. So it's up to you. Okay, the RAM, you can choose back the RAM, 2048. And then for the multi-core CPU, you can choose it one so that it wouldn't burden uh, or put a stress on your laptop. It is in device frame and then you can click finish so for this one you can uh, launch the avd the upside of this avd is that uh, you will find that it is much more responsive compared to the avd provided by android 12. so if you use a uh, avd provided uh, for android 11 or android 12 and this is one uh, that are much more um, responsive. Okay, you can see this. Okay, it is much more responsive. And then uh, the Chrome uh, supposed to work. Okay, the Chrome supposed to work flawlessly without any uh, problem. So you still have Google API without uh, Play Store. Okay, the only downside is that it does not have a Play Store. Okay, however, we do not need Play Store over here. We only need the Google API. So here, most of the API um, would work. And then it is much more responsive than compared when you are using uh, the default Pixel 3 or Nexus 5 uh, setup. 
So uh, you can try this uh, during the lab time. Ensure that you have um, sufficient internet connection to download the images and also the emulator uh, emulator OS or emulator skin. Okay, thank you uh, for today's the lab session. You can try this now with your own laptop.